Hi guys! So today's video, we are going into permutation part 2. And in this part 2, we are going to look at questions that has conditions. Okay, like when you arrange something, you have to arrange with uh, certain conditions like that. Okay, so if this is your first time viewing Teacher's Channel, welcome. My name is Teacher Veronica and uh, consider to subscribe and show some love by liking. And of course, share this with a friend who you think will benefit from as well. Okay, so let's get started. And in this part, we are going to look at conditions because conditions are very, very important when you are doing permutations. So permutation actually is arranging, isn't it? So now let's look at one question where when you arrange, they will tell you the condition uh, first hand itself. Okay. So let's start by looking at the question here. Okay. How many di four digit numbers can be formed? Okay. With digits 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 and 8. Okay. First... Look at the question. They say four digit numbers only, isn't it? Here, how many digits have they given us? They've given us one, two, three, four, five, six. So, got six digits here. Six digits given. But you only going to form four. Okay. Then, we look at the conditions. Okay, the first condition. No digits can be repeated. That means, okay, for A... When you do the arrangement, ah, okay, so we have number 1, 2, 3, uh, 5, 6, 8. Okay, 5, 6, 8. Now, we don't want to repeat any number here. Okay, so since we don't want to repeat any number, okay, this is example teachers giving. Ah, let, that means, if let's say I write here 2 already, I cannot write the 2 again. Let's say I write 2 already, cannot write the 2 again. That means, I must write 3. So, if let's say I write 3 already, cannot write, have to write other numbers. So, let's say 1. Okay, let's say I write 1 already, cannot write. I have to choose from the balance. So, the balance here is maybe 8. So, the digits that I form here is 2,380. Okay, so understand this first. Uh, uh, digits cannot be repeated. Okay, now, okay, go back, I erase this. Okay, now you tell teacher, 2, 3, uh, 5, 6, 8, right? Okay. If I'm going to arrange number at the first spot, the first place, how many ways can I arrange? How many numbers here? How many digits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, I can choose 6. So, got 6 ways, okay, I can arrange. I can choose Maybe uh, number 2, I can choose maybe number 1, I can choose 3, 5, 6 or 8, any 1. Okay, now let's say we already choose a number. Let's say we choose 8. We have chosen 8 already, we put in front there. Now, how many ways can I choose, uh, can I do to write the next digit? How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ways, right? So here got 5 ways to write the next digit okay since cannot repeat right so let's say we choose number five the second one so cannot repeat really yeah so next we got how many ways to write the third digit we got one two three four so four ways we can choose from because we can choose from four different numbers so let's say here i already write number one okay and the last part, we got how many ways to write? We got balance, three more digits. So, got three ways to arrange. Now, since we already know uh, how many ways, what we can straight away do is we can take six, multiply five, multiply four, multiply three. Okay, so here we get 360 ways. Okay. Now, the 6 multiply 5, multiply 4, multiply 3, 2, 1. You can also write it this way. 6. Okay, 6 is the total, right? Total uh, digits that we have. How many space here? We are arranging. Berapa tempat? How many space? 4 space, isn't it? Because we only want to form 4 digits. So, 6 permutation form. You also get 300. 60 okay 360 ways 
So both ways you can write this. Okay, you can write like how teacher wrote the first one, the second one also can. Okay, so question A, Dana. Oops. Okay, now let's look at question uh, B. A done. The digits can be repeated. Your keyword here. Huh? The digits can be repeated. Remember, whenever they say that you can repeat, I am telling you your life becomes easier. Okay? This is like, I am writing this so that you remember. Okay? Because when you see uh, something is being repeated, you, your life becomes easier because you can repeat the numbers. So, for example here, if teacher want to write the number 8 four times, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 can. So, it's easy, right? Because you can repeat. If you cannot repeat only, it's like you have to count. Lah. One gone already means how much and everything. So, now let's do B. B here, you can repeat. Ah. You can repeat. Foo. Repeat is very good because, you see, ah, one, two, three, four. Okay. Got four uh, digit we're going to form. We're going to form from number one, two, three, five, six, eight. Correct, ah? One, oops. One, two, three, five, six, eight. Okay. We can repeat. Keep this in mind. Okay. So, first spot here. First place. How many ways can I choose? How many ways can I uh, fill in the numbers? I got all six, isn't it? So, six ways, ah? Okay. Six ways I can fill in. Next. Second spot. Let's say teacher choose number one uh, for the first spot. Let's say teacher choose number one. Now, for the second spot, how many ways can I fill in the, the numbers? Is it five ways? Because I already write number one here. No. The condition is I can repeat. Repeat is amazing because that means I can write number one again. So, when you can write number one again, so how many ways again for you to choose? You got six ways again to choose the numbers, okay? Now, third spot. Let's say I want to choose number one again. Can or not? I can choose any numbers, but let's say I want to repeat the number one again. Can, right? So, again, I got six ways. And the last one. Can you see that again you can repeat the number one? Yes. I want to write number one again. Repeat, can? Six ways again. Can you see how... Uh, easy it is. I think teacher already blocked a little bit. Uh, now you can you see? Okay. So six ways, six ways, six ways, six ways. So easy. Oops. Let me write nicely. Okay. So six times six times six times six. So you can write straight away. Six times six times six times six. One thousand two hundred ninety-six ways. Okay. 1,296 ways. So, this one usually you don't write the permutation because you are writing everything. So, you don't uh, put 6 permutation 6, okay? Uh, because we are writing 6 numbers repeatedly. So, we just do multiplication only. Okay. So, question B done. Okay. Now, let's look at question C. How many ways, okay, we can form if the numbers must be even. Take note, numbers must be even. No digit can be repeated. Okay, we go back to that part lah, okay. Where you cannot repeat the digit lah. Because repeat means your life is very easy. But no repeat, it's okay. It's not that your life is hard. It's just that you just have to be uh, careful with what you're going to do now. Okay, uh, first condition, let's look at this. Must be even. Okay, now teacher is going to ask you all a question. Uh, most students will do this mistake. Okay, you must be even number. Okay, this one must be even number. And no repetition. Cannot repeat, ah? No repeat. Okay, what are the numbers we can choose from? 1, 2, 3, uh, 5, 6, and 8. Okay, even numbers means, okay, the, the even numbers start from the first digit or you see the last digit. For example, teacher asks, ah? okay, number 20. Okay, 20. Is this even or odd? Obviously, this is even. Ah? Okay, I ask another one. 
This is 21. This is even or odd? Obviously, you will answer odd. Okay. 22, even. 23, odd. Okay. Which number are you seeing? Okay. For you to know this is even or odd. You are seeing the first digit or you are seeing the last digit? Write in the comment. I want to know, okay? If you are seeing the first digit or you are seeing the last digit. Let's see who can answer correctly. I might give a free gift. Okay, there might be a free gift that I will... I'll see with whose comment is, uh, you know, like, you guys can uh, comment. Is it we are looking at the first digit or the last digit? Okay, let's look. So, who answered first digit? Okay, if you answered first digit, then you are wrong. We don't look at the first digit because the first digit all here number 2 only one. All the numbers then should be even, correct or not? So, we are not looking at the first digit. We are looking at the last digit. Okay, we must always look at the last digit to know whether it's even or odd number. Please remember this. Very important. Okay, because especially this chapter. So, if you see here, 0 means even, 1 means odd, 2 means even, 3 means odd. Okay, easy, yeah? So, remember which number we must always check? The last number, not the first number. First number doesn't matter. Actually, first number doesn't matter at all. You can also even write 112. This one is automatically will be even. Why? Because of the 2 at the back, not because of the 1. Okay, so now look at this. So, we want to arrange even number 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if I want to arrange even number means... Which number I must consider first? Which one I must fill in first? The last one, isn't it? The last place here. Huh? So, what what numbers I should fill in so that it becomes even? So, we must choose 2 or 6 or 8. Okay, these are the options we have. We can arrange 2 or number 6 or number 8. Okay, so how many ways is this? This is 3 ways to arrange. Okay, following up, three ways to arrange. Because you can arrange number two, six or eight. And we only choose this because they are even numbers. Okay, now that we already settled, the even number settled already. Yeah? Now we go to the first spot. Go to the pan scali, in front scali. So now here, in front here, how many balance uh, digits we have to choose from? Let's say, let's say we already write number two. Let's say, yeah? so how many balance here we have? One, two, three. Is it three only? No, we can also write the six and eight, isn't it? So one, two, three, four, five. So here we have five ways to write. Okay, five ways to arrange. Okay, now let's say the first one place we wrote number five. Okay, we wrote number five. So balance now got how many digits for us to arrange? One, two, Three, four, four ways to arrange because we've got balance, four digits. Okay, so we are cutting up huh? because you cannot repeat, right? Since you cannot repeat, once it's used, it's used. Now, balance here for this, since let's say the second place, uh, teacher uh, wrote number six. Okay, here second place wrote. Just now we wrote here five and then here I write six. Here just now we choose two. Okay. So, balance now go 1, 2, 3. So, 3 ways. Can you see? Okay, if you if you can't, you need to pause. Okay, you need to pause right now. Just go a little bit, rewind a little bit at the, from the part where we started this question. Look back. Because this one is very important. You need to understand how to uh, arrange this thing. Okay, so now when we write, uh, we want to find the value, the number of ways. So, 5 times 4 times 3 times 3. Okay, let's calculate. 20 times 9, so 180 ways. Okay, so now, uh, can you see how we do if it's even number, 
not repeating okay so this is quite quite uh, easy actually okay you can do you just need to be alert with how you're doing the question okay now uh teacher's going to give a question here okay what i want you all to do is try to answer give me the answer in the comment section below and if your answer is correct i might uh, even consider to send a gift because i have been meaning to do a giveaway but let's see i'm just waiting once i hit 1000 subscribers so you can also share this with your friends okay it's, it's quite a giveaway actually it's like all the ad maths books and you know everything uh, you will definitely love it especially if you're from 4 from 5 it will be a good preparation for you so let me just write the question here okay you can pause uh, and uh, do the working and send teacher the answer at the comment section okay okay so let's look at this question so this is your question pause okay or you know uh, take a picture screenshot or anything do the working try your best form three digit numbers greater than 200 write down your answer in a comment i'll be very happy to respond okay and uh, i once we reach this 1000 subscribers ready i will definitely definitely also uh, give a big giveaway okay so keep commenting keep supporting keep liking subscribe <laughs> share this with a friend okay i'll see you in part three so part three will be permutation for a circle okay in a circle arrangement in circles okay so i'll see you in part three bye